Hi Grade 7! For today, our topic is angle pairs and their geometric relations. And it was based on Mathematics 7, Quarter 3, Module Number 2. Hi Math Lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because Mathematics is fun! What I need to know For our objectives, we have to illustrate complementary angles, supplementary angles, congruent angles, vertical angles, adjacent angles, linear pair, perpendicular lines, and parallel lines. What is it? Angle pairs and their geometric relations. Angles can be seen everywhere. In our room, in our house, in school, in the surroundings, in different places. Have you ever wondered how angles are formed? What will happen if angles are not related or connected? Lesson number one. Types of angles. Types of angles. The first one is acute angle. Its value is greater than zero but less than 90 degrees. That is if the measure of X is between zero degrees and 90 degrees. The second one is right angle. Its measure is equal to 90 degrees. That is if the measure of X is exactly 90 degrees. The third one is obtuse angle. Its measure is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. That is, if the measure of X is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. The fourth one is reflex angle. Its measure is greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. That is, if the measure of X is between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. Two angles are known as congruent angles if they have equal or same measure. Take note, here is the symbol. This is read as is congruent to. An angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Take note that every angle has exactly one angle bisector. Let's have our example. Look at this given figure. Angle JOY is a right angle. If ray OT bisect angle JOY, then angle JOT is congruent to angle YOT. Lesson number 2. Angle Pairs Angle Pairs Geometric relationships exist between pair angles. These relationships serve as basis in classifying angle pairs such as complementary angles, supplementary angles, adjacent angles, linear pairs, and vertical angles. Let us study the figure below. Name some of the angles that can be seen in the figure. For our answer, we have angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5. We also have angle ABC, angle CBD, angle DBE, angle EBF, angle ABF, angle ABD, angle CBE, angle DBF, angle ABE and angle CBF. Now using the same figure, let us observe and compare the angle pairs based on the figure. For our answer, we have Number 1. If the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 is equal to 90, and the measure of angle DBE 
plus the measure of angle EBF is equal to 90, then angle 3 and angle 4 and angle DBE and angle EBF are complementary angles. Number 2. If the measure of angle ABD plus the measure of angle DBE is equal to 180, the measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle CBE is equal to 180, and the measure of CBD plus the measure of angle DBF is equal to 180, then angle ABD and angle DBE Angle ABC and angle CBE and angle CBD and angle DBF are pairs of supplementary angles. Lesson number 3 Relationship between angles Adjacent angles are two distinct angles with common vertex and common side. Now look at the figure. Angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles with a common vertex R and a common side ray RS. Let's identify if the given figures are adjacent angles or not. Figure number 1. These are adjacent angles. They share a vertex and a side. Figure number 2 These are not adjacent angles. They only share a vertex, not a side. Figure number 3 These are not adjacent angles. They only share a side, not a vertex. Complementary angles are two angles whose sum of measures equals 90 degrees. Now look at the figure. Angle N and angle M are complementary since their sum is equal to 90 degrees. 49 degrees plus 41 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are two angles whose measures have the sum of 180 degrees. Now look at the given figure. Angle O and angle P are supplementary since their sum is equal to 180 degrees. 136 degrees plus 44 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Linear pair this is composed of two adjacent angles whose sum of the measures is 180 degrees and the non-common sides are opposite rays. Now look at the given figure. Angle 1 and angle 2 is a linear pair with a common vertex B and a common side ray BD. Since a straight angle was formed, it is obvious that the sum of their measure is 180 degrees. Vertical angles Vertical angles are two non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. Vertical angles are congruent. Now look at the given figure. Angle 1 and angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4 are vertical angles. Since they were formed two intersecting lines, line MP and line NO. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 and angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. Let's have our example. Study figure 1 to better understand linear pair and vertical angles. If line CF and line AE intersect at point B, then they form vertically opposite angles or vertical angles. That is, angle ABC and angle EBF 
or angle 1 and angle 4. Using the same figure, we can create linear pairs of angles. Angle ABD and angle DBE, angle ABC and angle CBE, angle CBD and angle DBF, and angle CBE and angle EBF. Parallel lines. These are lines that never meet no matter how long they will be extended. Denoted by this symbol, here are some examples of parallel lines. These are parallel lines. These are also examples of parallel lines. These are parallel lines. Intersecting lines. These are lines that meet at exactly one point. Here are examples of intersecting lines. These are intersecting lines. These are also examples of intersecting lines. These are intersecting lines. Perpendicular lines. These are lines that intersect at exactly one point and form four right angles, denoted by this symbol. Here are examples of perpendicular lines. These are perpendicular lines. Now that you have an idea about the different angle pairs and their geometric relations, let us try to solve some problems. Here are some examples. Example number 1. Angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary. If the measure of angle 1 is equal to 56, what must be the measure of angle 2? For our solution, the sum of complementary angles is 90 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle 1 is 56 and the measure of angle 2 is unknown. Now let's add the two angles. Measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is equal to 90. Let us substitute the given. 56 plus x is equal to 90. x is equal to 90 minus 56. Finding the difference, our answer is x is equal to 34. Now let's check our answer. 56 degrees plus 34 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. For our final answer, we have the measure of angle 2 is equal to 34. Example number 2. Two angles, X and Y, are supplementary. If angle Y measures 94 degrees, what is the measure of angle X? For our solution, sum of supplementary angles is 180 degrees. Angle X plus angle Y is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's substitute the given. X plus 94 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. X is equal to 180 degrees minus 94 degrees. Getting the difference, we have X is equal to 86 degrees. Now let's check. 86 degrees plus 94 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Our final answer is angle X is equal to 86 degrees. Example number 3. Find the measures of the supplementary angles if the larger angle is 6 more than twice the smaller angle. For our solution, let n be the smaller angle. Therefore, 2n plus 6 degrees is the larger angle. First, add the two measures. The first angle plus the second angle is equal to 180 degrees. Substitute the given values. n plus the sum of 2n plus 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Now we can combine similar terms. 3n plus 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Using APE or addition property of equality, 
we will subtract negative 6 to both sides of the equation. Now we have 3n is equal to 180 minus 6. Now we have 3n is equal to 174 degrees. Using division property of equality, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 3. n is the smaller angle and n is equal to 58 degrees. To get the measure of the larger angle, we need to substitute the value of n. Our expression is 2n plus 6. Now we have 2 multiplied by 58 degrees plus 6. 116 plus 6 is 122 degrees. Now let's check our answer. 58 degrees plus 122 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. For our final answer, the angles are 58 degrees and 122 degrees. Example number 4. Given a linear pair, what is the measure of x? Now look at this illustration. Here is our solution. Since we know that linear pairs are supplementary, then 180 degrees minus 53 degrees is equal to x. Now let's subtract. 180 degrees minus 53 degrees is equal to 127 degrees. Our final answer is x is equal to 127 degrees. Example number 5. Given the illustration where the adjacent angles are linear pairs, find the value of the variables. Now here is the illustration. For our solution, angle 3 and angle 3x plus 12 are adjacent angles that form a linear pair. Then they are supplementary. Now let's substitute the given data. x plus the sum of 3x and 12 is equal to 180. Combining similar terms, we have 4x plus 12 is equal to 180. Using addition property of equality, subtract both equations by 12. Now we have 4x is equal to 168. Then divide both sides of the equation by 4, giving us the answer of x is equal to 42. Now let's find the value of 3x plus 12. First, substitute the value of x. 3 times 42 plus 12. 126 plus 12 is equal to 138. Using the same figure, we will also find the value of y and z. If x is equal to 42 and x and y are linear pair, then 180 minus 42 is equal to the measure of angle y. 180 minus 42 is equal to 138. Therefore, the measure of angle Y is equal to 138. If angle X and angle Z are vertical angles, and the measure of angle X is equal to 42, then the measure of angle Z is equal to 42. Take note that vertical angles are congruent. References I hope that you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye!